Hi there, it's time to open and review a completely new product that no one's has ever seen before, and especially students. Students has never seen this before. Now, what could be so special about this? Am I just joking? Is this April? No, it's not April, it's November. Hmm, I'm flicking it. And erasers don't normally make that sound. Oh, take a look at that. Now, as you can see, it says here, Stedtler, Stedtler? I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody in Canada knows how to pronounce this. Stadler and says Morse plastic. Obviously, this might be the iconic eraser that you've seen before. It even has a special embossment, which you can't see due to the lighting here. Uh, yeah, you won't see it at the moment because of plastic. There's the plastic wrap. Oh, what in the world? Um, yes, so as you can see, it is made of plastic, as it says Mars plastic, but that's what they call their eraser. Yes, this is an eraser, but as you can hear, it's a very hard eraser. Uh, you have a um, barcode that says state 52650 pcps one uh, barcode Mississauga, Ontario. I, I thought this is a German company. Maybe they, they make it, they import it, uh, the product. No idea, but as you can see, there might be a weird indentation of a circular thing. No idea why that's there, uh, and if I were to continue on, you'd see this strange thing here. Hmm. It looks like you have a giant chunk of gum, or gum if you're French, which could give you a hint as to what this was, if you didn't hear what I said before. Eraser. And uh, let's get this open. So, um, if you look closely, You'll see that there's this line which might be an imperfection but if you were to continue looking around you'd notice that the streaks are exactly the same place and there's actually a strange u shape there so let's actually open this up and there is actually a pull tab let's get this out slide goodbye barcode and as you can see we have the uh the forever recognizable to a student, uh, the Stadler, uh, I guess, blue on white um, logo or design. But if you look closely, again, you have this weird thing here and you again have um, the logo. Uh, here's the embossment, if, you, if I can get this to focus correctly. You can just barely make it out. Oh, there you are. There's their little logo, which uh, is like that one. And what this basically is, it appears to be uh, a holder for an eraser. So as you can see, this bit swivels out like that. That's very strange. It seems to stick, or something seems to stick on the inside of the wall or back wall, but you can grip the top and bottom and swivel it out like so. And out comes, you've guessed it, a, a Mars plastic eraser. Uh, if we were to look inside, you could see, um, some imperfections there, not to worry. And of course, you have an eraser. So, what do you do with erasers? You erase. So, you can just review. But uh, first, let's take a look at this. It swivels exactly 180 degrees. As you can see, it's flush again. So, theoretically, I guess you could. Um, okay, you can't erase that direction, but you could erase this direction because it's quite reinforced and just erase like that, like a big pencil. Or, could you remove it possibly? No, it seems a bit resistant to uh, removal. That's very interesting. I'm pulling quite... Oh, okay. So, it appears that you can wedge an eraser completely into this thing. Uh, has quite the firm grip, but I bet if you keep pulling out and put replacing your eraser, eventually your eraser will not fit snugly. It'll just come on and off really easily. So I suggest you keep it in here. Um, yeah, so it looks like a very sturdy thing. Uh, you can't squeeze it. There's a squeeze test if you like. So it does compress a bit, but of course the, uh, the sides are very hard to uh, compress, I guess. So it's uh, very sturdy. Like, you're not going to break your eraser with this. Oh, something to note, uh, you'll notice the sides or ends are a bit rounded. Kind of interesting. Sort of like how when you use erasers, they become rounded. Speaking of which, here is my, my actual real-life 
um, I guess, working eraser as a student. As you can see, it looks pretty nice in the light, but if I were to get the camera to focus again, you no, know, it's actually pretty dirty. Uh, there we go, more detail for the camera to look at. It gets pretty dirty when you keep putting it in different pockets in your pants or in your uh, uh, pencil case. So let's compare what a uh, exposed or I guess naked eraser does look like in relation to a brand new out of the box eraser. As you can see this one is much smaller and there is a slight discoloration as you can see. Also, you can tell I've been making a lot of mistakes, so erasers get much smaller. And you can see in the corners that it gets pretty worn out, as you can see here. It's not a perfect rectangle anymore. The edges also get pretty rounded, the corners. And pretty much all around it gets pretty dirty, as it doesn't look too professional. Now let's do an eraser test, uh, just for fun I guess. So being prepared, I've got some paper out and I have no idea what we can draw. Perhaps just a number of some sort, let's see. There, so we have a two, it happens to be my favorite number. Not sure if you figured that out by now. And here's the second one, slightly smaller. I can't do the same thing twice, that's why I, I'll make a duplicate. Now let's see what happens when you have a dirty eraser and you try to erase the uh, ink, or I guess the, uh, the pencil lead. Okay, let's try this. It'll erase the left side. Okay. And that did a pretty good job. You can still see the indentation in the paper. Now it looks like I have a three. Well, obviously that is not a three because I favor two is much more. So let's grab the brand new eraser and try erasing it from the corner like so. As you can see, it's pretty crummy. But don't no. And uh, it also erases just like a brand new eraser should erase, which is pretty nice. Um, one thing you might notice, however, is that I've got some black smudges or something on there. Hmm. So what I do is I usually rub my thumb against it so that you can remove the uh, the bits of rubber that, or eraser that is filled with uh, black markings. Because this is what happens if you make too many mistakes and you erase the the pencil markings in the traditional way. You get this unsightly smudge, as you can see. Smudges! And uh, due to the way paper is, apparently, once you get smudges, you can't erase them no matter how hard you erase, which is very terrible. But it does clean your eraser, ironically. So it smudges that and cleans the eraser. Um, and removes some of the bits with uh, without the the thing but if I were to have this it would be less dirty um, I guess to prove my point this time I'm going to try erasing using the the dirty part of the eraser I'm not sure how that would work uh, probably going to just press down like in the center and see how it erases uh, first off we're gonna try it with the dirty eraser I've never erased with the face of a of an eraser in my life at least I don't think so. Okay, so it didn't, huh? It didn't do that badly, I guess. That's that's just a, that's a shock and surprise. But I guess you could do the same thing with uh, this eraser. Now the the point here is basically to not have your eraser look disgusting or ugly um, when you use it normally and. Uh, also to make sure if any of you have experienced it, especially if you are in um, the younger, uh, the younger uh, school years, I guess, you will find that people ask you for erasers, or you might find that suddenly your erasers have lost half their size and have doubled. Um, 
due to um, excessive force or having it accidentally being folded or bent to the point of it breaking into uh, smaller pieces, which gives you a much lesser grip on the eraser and you'll have a harder time erasing things during your test or exam or assignment, which would get very frustrating and you'd have to hunt down an eraser store or stationary store likewise. So let's see, um, we've reviewed the holder and of course you can stick the eraser in. What happens when you put in a different eraser, a brand new, er well, a different eraser? Like if you were to buy, I guess, a uh, refill for this. Let's see what happens when you put this in here. As you can see, it was, it's well used. It's uh, lost um, perhaps 60.5% of its uh, uh, volume. And as you can see, see, when you insert this into the uh, the holder, it still sticks out quite uh, an ample amount. So you could still erase on both sides. So let's try erasing while using the holder, I guess with both the old and the new uh, eraser. Again, let's try to draw something else, maybe uh, something more challenging to erase, not... Uh, going to be hard for me to draw this, especially while on camera. But as you can see, I'm drawing a square. The roundest square you've ever seen. No, of course, this is a sphere, as you can tell. Um, so let's see. Again, uh, you. I want to mention the fact that you don't want to try erasing this way because it would end up swiveling out that way. Instead, you want to erase it where there's resistance like this. And it erases quite nicely. But as you can hear, it clicks. It makes a clicking noise. Uh, also, I bet if you were to use the regular or the, uh, the brand new eraser that came with the uh, the bit, it's going to make, uh, okay, of course you don't want to do that. I just warned myself and I still did it. You don't want to do this because there's actually a lot of bending when you try to erase like that. You don't get much, uh, I guess, torque on the, you don't get too much force on the paper. Instead, you're going to have to grip the, the eraser or you, you're going to have to just remove it from the container to erase. A bit sad. One final thing to note is that you have noticed this, uh, let's see, circular indentation there. And I guess also, nope, not on the other side. That is basically a bit where the plastic can, can grip the thing here. As you heard, something seemed to break. But not to worry, it has not. Come on, there we are. This is the actual bit that holds the eraser. So I guess if you wanted to, you could remove it, but that would seemingly defeat the purpose. You have two indents there, like that. And it looks like you have a place for the uh, the carriage, or whatever you want to call it, to, um, to rotate in. So that little circle goes into that track there that swivels, and the bigger circle goes into this hole that you can see my flesh through. So that's quite interesting, just a minor bit there. And you can replace that. So as you can see, the plastic, I guess, is much more um, easy to break if you were to squeeze it like this or hard enough. Um, but if you were to have this bit in, it must be much more stable. There we are. Once everything's lined up, it's pretty sturdy. You cannot squeeze it. I'm squeezing pretty hard. So if you're, though you're going to have to take my word for it. Uh, let's see, this part might be a little bit more easy to compromise structurally, but it's pretty strong as well. So you're gonna have a great, um, you're gonna have great, uh, I guess, protection with your eraser where you, if you were to do this. Anyways, this has been, well, this has been the Stedadler swivel eraser holder, I guess.
Thanks for watching.